Good evening, here's our top story. The artist won the Oscar for Best Picture, so once again, the French could only win with help from Americans. <laughs> by the LA Times, Oscar voters are 94% white with an average age of 62, meaning next year's Oscar frontrunner is CBS's Tuesday night lineup. <laughs> a court ordered that a sex tape featuring John Edwards be destroyed. The judge wanted the tape to match Edwards' political career. <laughs> The co-chair of Mitt Romney's Arizona campaign resigned after he was caught threatening to deport his gay Mexican ex-lover. Romney was shocked to discover that someone in his campaign had ever actually cared about a Mexican. <laughs> ESPN fired an online editor after a story on Asian American NBA phenom Jeremy Lin was posted with the headline, Chink in the armor. <laughs> Added an ESPN spokesperson. We'd also like to apologize for our apology headline, Me So Sorry. <laughs> it should have actually read, Me So Sorry. <laughs> ESPN, da -na -na. <laughs> I hear Jimmy Lynn has a good sense of humor once he went pee pee in my coat. <laughs> New Jersey Governor Chris Christie told Piers Morgan that he's trying to get into shape. That shape? A perfect sphere. <laughs> and now we're Hard News Meets Hollywood here with the entertainment news is someone from one movie that was not nominated for Best Picture, Conan the Barbarian! <laughs> said she was okay with doing nudity in her new movie, Wanderlust. <laughs> However, she later admitted she was only nude because all her clothes decided to dump her. <laughs> ah! Conan would not kick her out of his bed. <laughs> Magic Johnson is starting a new cable network called Aspire. And even if the ratings are low, Magic's channel will survive way, way longer than anyone expected it to. <laughs> ah! The channel has AIDS! <laughs> it is bad! <laughs> ah! Yes. Mark Wahlberg says he will do everything he can to make sure his kids never become actors, added Wahlberg. Hey guys, that means I'm gonna teach you everything that I know. <laughs> ah, Planet of the Apes sucked. Season two, the season two finale of Downton Abbey gave PBS its highest rating since 2009, which was only when the nip slip happened on Antique Roadshow. <laughs> ah, Conan's nips never slip. <laughs> and finally, Christina Hendricks says that in her high school year, she was bullied for being ugly, awkward, and horrible. So if you're being bullied, it gets better. As long as you have crazy big boobs. <laughs> ah! Boobs are hilarious! <laughs> ah! Thank you, Conan. I will rape you, Kimberly Brown. <laughs> you will. Promises, promises. <laughs> Paris Hilton won $30,000 playing blackjack in Las Vegas, which is the first time that Paris Hilton ever made money for actually doing anything. <laughs> the porn industry may pull out of LA because of a new law enforcing actors to wear condoms. Explain to porn star. 
Yeah, yeah, it's true. We're uh, we're gonna pull out of Los Angeles, and then we're gonna finish all over Los Angeles. This chest. Uh, yeah. Uh. your job success, especially if your career goal is to become a fake farmer. <laughs> a Los Angeles man sold his vintage comic book collection for $3.5 million. The man plans on taping the dollar bills together to form the shape of a girlfriend. <laughs> but he's rich! Taco Bell has announced they are dropping their slogan, Think Outside the Bun. Instead, their new slogan will be, You're drunk and we exist. <laughs> a building superintendent in New York was arrested after he was caught having sex with a resident's dog. Even more shocking, they did it people style. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of people style, now with an in-depth look at one of the week's big stories is the segment that's twice as important as AC360. It's TSW720. <laughs> 